guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, please subscribe if you are new here with the notification bell on. We're on the road to 159,000 subscribers, and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe and join the fam. But what's going on, you guys? And welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about me being back in my studio. Isn't this beautiful? And uh, I know a lot of you guys were really confused and a little freaked out like in that video I made when I came back after taking a week break and you guys were like why isn't Mike going in a studio anymore honestly I was a little depressed and I just didn't want to see the same thing that I'm seeing every single day you know um, I love the studio I do really love it but I just you know there's certain things that just like remind you of certain things and I just needed to break from it and I guess I thought that filming videos from my computer would make me feel better, but it didn't. So like, I'm still depressed, still miserable, but I might as well be sad and miserable in my studio. So I have come back in here. It's a little weird being back here again, um, even though it's only been a little over a week, but it's it's good to be back. And uh, as for the filming in my at my computer, I am still gonna do that because I have like different types of videos, ideas that I wanna like make. Um, for example, like reaction videos, it would make it so much easier for me to film it at my computer. And I've been working on a lot of stuff with my computer, making like the setup better, you know, using a screen recorder, stuff like that. Like I put a lot of work into it so I, I can actually make videos there if I want to, because it would be easier for me to do things like, you know, if I'm doing a reaction video, for example, um, instead of me coming here, having to download the actual video that I'm reacting to on my computer, then me coming in here to react to it from my phone, and then like syncing the video of me reacting to it in here with the video, it's just a lot of work. So it would be like so much easier to use the screen recorder because that records my webcam at the same time. Um, but I'm still like updating some things and I still got some work to go into it. However, that's not what we're here to talk about. Well, it kind of was like, I wanted to talk to you guys about that, but I have something here, which I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I've had this for a while now. Uh, I got a couple weeks ago, but I never got a chance to show you guys because I took a break. It is an insidious lantern. Now it's not exactly insidious, but it's like, I think it is the actual one that they used in the movie because it's, uh, well, one of the ones, I know they're all different, but this one is like, I've like really looked into it and it looks just like the one that Ed, uh, not Ed, I was gonna say Ed Warren, but he's not Ed Warren in Insidious. I can't remember his name in Insidious, but like the one he's using when he's looking for his son in the first movie, it looks just like this. Like it has this and it's a little bit red and it has like, it's just the shape of it uh, and the handle and everything. Like it's the closest I could find to like the classic style uh, lantern. Now they're all like high tech and modern looking. So it's, this one's like a classical style. But uh, I got this to add to my collection because I do love Insidious. And Insidious is really hard to buy props from. Um, there isn't really any Insidious props at all. So uh, I needed something because Insidious is one of my favorite horror movies. So I thought I would get this. It is actually kind of bright. It, and that's, well, it goes like from the dimmest setting, which is this. It doesn't look like anything on the camera. That's because I have like way too many studio lights. Let me just turn out the lights. Oh my God, guys, I'm literally in the further. Whoa, this could be my new picture for YouTube. My new profile picture. How's that look? I also need a thumbnail for, for this video, so. Whoa, that scared the shit out of me. I just saw the nun, like right there. That creeped me out. I just saw like, can you guys see that? Just like tiny little silhouette of a face that freaked me out so hard okay so maybe if I whoa if I turn it down a little how does that look for like my new YouTube picture Okay, okay. 
Oh God, no, that's way too scary. Hold on guys, I'll be right back. See, I just wanted to show this to you guys. I know it's not the exact one, but it does have like insidious vibes to it. Um, so I think I'm just gonna put it there. I think it adds to the rest of my collection. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comment section if you are glad to see me back in my studio. And hit the like button if you are glad that I'm back. And uh, remember the most important thing, chase your dreams. Don't let anybody bring you down. And I'll see you right back here tomorrow for another video. Peace out, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.